What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about Neo. Over this last day, day and a half, I've seen a lot of posts on social media of people saying that they sold out and will buy back lower, insinuating that there is going to be a significant pullback. I want to go over some of the current data points and just talk briefly if a pullback is justified or not. Before I get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, let's get right to it. So on Friday, it did go down 0.36%. It did have a low sold off first thing of 533. And I feel like this is what really prompted people to panic sell, just anticipating a significant pullback. And if you do look at a lot of the technicals or I guess specific indicators such as stochastic, it does point out that it is overbought. But to be fair, NEO somewhat is undervalued, significantly undervalued in fact. So over this last little bit, especially from its lows, it did piggyback off of the whole Tesla run, EV run, which nothing wrong with that, right? But as of late, I even did a video kind of pointing this out, NEO started to diverge away from the EV sector, such as this right here. So you can kind of see the five day chart has NEO, S&P 500 and Tesla. So Tesla over this last five days is down 4.6%, S&P up 0.15 and NEO is up 20.33%. But they came out with news roughly, I think it was the first or the second or something like that about their amazing numbers. But beside the point, as of the 30th, you saw that it is starting to diverge away. And I don't think it's any coincidence that if you follow what big money is doing, you saw a big injection of money starting on the 30th. So of course, as I've said, big money is scouring the market for value plays. And NEO, yeah, it's gone down quite a lot uh, over this last little bit, as you can kind of see. But is it justified to be at these levels? In my opinion, no. The EV market, yeah, it did go down, but a lot of this had to do with extra fears associated to geopolitical issues. Um, so with that being somewhat partially fixed, I think it was as of last week or a week and a half ago, that's where China and the States did state that they were going to be working together, uh, hopefully in harmony in the foreseeable future. So in reality, that is a very good thing for NEO. So all in all, people are going to be looking at value. And right now, NEO is among the most discounted EVs out there, as I pointed out time and time again. I think the only other EV that's been kind of slammed more is Polestar. But looking at NEO, 1.5 for the PS and 1.3 for the future. Just to give you a quick overview of what I mean by how NEO is slammed and is a fairly good discount, let's pull up Lucid. So Lucid right now is 10.8 versus the forecast is 7.2. So if you think about it, so Lucid compared to NEO, which right now NEO produces the hell out of Lucid, in order for NEO to get to the same price point using the same multiple for Lucid, like NEO would have have to be like was it 7x at least to get to lucid standard and let's pull up rivian um so right now of course uh lucid and rivian are both getting punished quite a lot in the market but even rivian a little bit more appropriately valued that is 2.3 and then 2.1 for the future still insinuating um, on a multiple level that neo would need to 2x roughly based on the price point so neo is still at a very deep discount and this is why it is getting the attention from larger institutions which in my opinion i know it does kind of sound stupid but in the market that is full of algorithmic trading, you need to see exactly what big money is buying for the long term. Because for instance, Rivian, Lucid, a lot of those other EVs get a lot of volume on a daily basis. But if you actually look, a lot of that isn't long investors. That was just algorithmic trading, which technically doesn't really have good support levels. So in essence, I, I would much prefer to follow this than just looking at the high volume. So in reality, NEO has had good volume over this last little bit, and it has been true institutions buying in. And plus, even on the dark pool, very, very popular. So these are all the transactions above $100,000 just on Friday. So my apologies for going a little bit fast, so you can always pause and go through it line by line if you want. But quite a lot and as well it is to note for a lot of stocks that are heavily shorted possibly uh, such as neo 
A lot of them have been doubling down over this last week. But when it comes to Neo, shorts haven't been doing jack all. So if there was a legitimate reason for Neo to be suppressed and to go down, you would see a very big spike up. But you don't. You just see them doing absolutely nothing. So on Friday, they did increase 1.38 million shares. But again, that's kind of a drop in the bucket considering 190.2 million shares overall are being shorted. 13.95% of the free flow is being shorted. Utilization 85.12. And then cost of borrow average is 1. 1.65%. So I see this as somewhat optimistic, the fact that they haven't been doubling down. Of course, a lot of different circumstances could change. And the market right now is somewhat cautiously optimistic about the EV sector, especially with a bump up in demand. So I, I think right now it is fair to assume that NEO is going to continue to trend up. But the first sign of weakness, this is where you will see a pullback. So I think people right now are just taking profits because keep in mind, a lot of people probably did buy at this stage. So the high threes, low fours, and just want to collect profits, which that usually does happen at various stages when a stock does go up. Nothing wrong with that. As you can kind of see right here, it goes up, consolidates, and that is the paper hands, if you want to call them that, selling out. But a lot of people who sold out here are anticipating it's going to go back down to here. That clearly did not come this time around. So it's, yeah, you can collect profits. There might be a pullback of maybe 10%, something like that, or possibly even more. But bigger picture, I do see NEO still very much discounted. And it does have the at least attention coming from institutions. And that is one of the biggest things that you need in the market right now. So let me know your thoughts on NEO in the comments below. Don't mind my ranting over this video. My apologies on that. But going over into this upcoming week with it closing at $5.57, it is between this S2 and this S1. So it did get over a very, very strong support. So that 508. So you'll really want to watch for that to continue to hold. And if it does and does have the good momentum carried forward into next week, you might see 724 sooner rather than later. But again, that will depend on a lot of the data that's coming out. There's a lot of Fed speakers next week, I believe Monday, Wednesday, Friday. CPI is going to be the following week. So yeah, I think right now it is a very interesting time. Should you collect profits or not? That's completely on you. You guys do whatever floats your boat. But if you do believe in Neo bigger picture, take advantage of these discounted prices because even realistically, like I said, if it does get to Rivian's ratios on and their multiples, like Neo could easily 2x from here. My own opinion, of course, I'm definitely not a financial advisor and all that other fun jazz. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. If you were one of those individuals that did sell out on Friday, at what price point would you rebuy? So throw that in the comments below. Very curious. I have a weird feeling a lot of people might say probably around the 450 most likely or possibly four, um, but who knows? We'll just wait and see. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. One final thing, don't forget to take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7. So pretty kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.